and how that works with um, the circadian rhythm because I'm a bit confused if you say that you know the later you eat or your, your first solid meal but you have that really late but then the circadian rhythm says you should follow you should eat at before a specific time so I just wanted okay. to know how does that work with intermittent All right. fasting so Joyce we're not telling anybody to eat late we mm. said that you wait for like, um, like in an intermittent fast is, you know, on, on, on the strict intermittent fast, it's like 22 to 23 hours. That could be at 7 p.m. that you eat at the latest or even 8 p.m., right? And that would not interfere with your circadian, your circadian rhythm. Okay, but if your first solid meal is, a, is a like, say, 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. Right that's really heavy food for you to eat the first for the first time in the day. No, 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 not at all. Because your digestive system is actually um, very active at that point of the day. And the, the, um, the assimilation cycle of your circadian clock doesn't kick in until around, you know, depending on where you are, right? Or, you know, how your, how your body clock, how you've adjusted it over the years, can be 8, 9, or 10 o'clock in the evening. So if you have a good four hours of digestion, of appropriation, before you go into assimilation, you're going to be good. Okay. okay. All right? So, so um, we, we see, there's a lot of things that have been taught to us through history, through, you know, institutionalized teaching, like, you know, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. Then it became lunch is the most important meal of the day. And then finger of fudge. Right. You know, Literally, <laughs> I mean. Yeah. <laughs> Remember right. But it's all about that you do not interfere with your assimilation and um, your um, elimination or, you know, um, your, yeah, your elimination cycle which elimination cycle is where you defecate or you urinate, that you're not interfering with that by putting, putting food into your, into your system, right? Okay. When, when you're going through those cycles. So um, a lot of people eat late where, you know, it's supposed to be their, their, their cells are supposed to be now taking in the nutrients that have been broken down and metabolized, right? Um, and it's put into the bloodstream. This, this is why um, intermittent fasting is the, is the most efficient way of eating because it doesn't interfere during your daily cycle, your, your circadian clock. It's not going to interfere with it. If you eat at the right time, so if your sweet yeah. spot is 4 p.m., then eat at 4 p.m. I know you've been... <laughs>